Well, Reuben visits an area bank and learns how new student banking advisory board is helping students advance into the future. year of the Banking Advisory Council and what First Bank Southwest wanted to do was actually get the perspective of high school students uh, that were seniors in high school as well as the collegiate level at the freshman sophomore uh, levels. And so we actually went through and interviewed over 40 students um, across uh, Amarillo, Bushland and Canyon and Amarillo College and selected 15 students to participate in the program. And each one of them um, we're wanting their perspective on how they perceive banking and how we can evolve uh, the services that we do in order to better meet that generation. And in return, what we're going to provide to them is leadership skills and um, opportunities of being able to network and interact within the community. There's not really a lot of financial literacy in the schools and having a program that is just so immersive and dedicated to show students about networking, uh, finance skills, and helping us in our future. It's just amazing that we got blessed with such an amazing program. I think it's important for the bank so they can really understand um, what we desire in banking and what we're kind of looking for um, as we as we go into the future and start our own careers and bank um, as adults. And I think it's also important for us to uh, learn what it is that we want because some of us don't fully know or understand what exactly we want out of banking as well. So I heard about it from my econ teacher, and uh, because I told him I, I may want to get into the financial world when as when I grow up. And uh, I just thought it would be a good opportunity, and I should take advantage of it. So we, we get different perspectives from like from different backgrounds. We have people from Emerald High to Bushland to wherever, and uh, I just I, the more perspectives you have, the uh, and like the more diverse the program is, I just it, the better, I guess.